I'm constantly being told the same thing by literally every single dog owner. So, picture this. You're walking down the street, it's a busy street. You're walking down the street and you run up to every single person you meet. You run up to them, you get them in a big bear hug and you squeeze them and you say, oh my God, it's so nice to see you. What are you going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to do one or two things. You're going to shrink away and think, oh dear God, who's that? What's wrong with them? Are you going to be like, come on then. What is wrong with you? But you very unlikely, probably 99.9% .9 unlikely to go, oh, hey, a weirdo, nice to see you. So, why do you let your dogs do that? Everybody humanises the dogs. So that's your human version. And now can you start understanding why we have so many reactive dogs? Because even dogs that are frightened, just like people are frightened, timid, nervous, whatever, you don't want something right up in your face. That's not how we work and that's definitely not how dogs work. But that's how you create a reactive dog. So for the judgy people that are like, oh my God, your dog's reactive because you've not done something right. Probably the dog is reactive because you as the dickhead owner, oh, he just wants to play. But my dog doesn't know your dog, so he doesn't want to play with everybody. And you saying he just wants to play is code for, I can't get him back on the lead, but I'm such a dick owner. I'm that ignorant, I'm going to keep letting him off the lead and letting the dog have a great time because everything revolves around my special dog. No, no it doesn't. Because what's happening is your special dog's running into that dog that is literally sick to death of these dogs being right up in its face and, oh my God, let's play, let's play. And that dog is going to say, fuck you. And guess who's in the wrong? You and your dick dog. But more than your dog, you. Because you buy these dogs and it is your sole responsibility to put in the training needed. If you can't be bothered doing that, no biggie. But don't let it off a lead. Because let me tell you, one day your dog is going to go to the wrong dog. That wrong dog is going to rip its nose off and you are left with a vet bill and possibly a liable court case. So instead of going around being like, oh my God, my dog's everything. Everybody thinks that and everybody's dogs are exactly that. So stop being so ignorant. If you see a dog on a lead, put your dog on a lead. People don't care. My dog's friendly, but he will not in a million years tolerate a dog running at him. He'll be the first one to charge back at it. He's not going to bite it. But he's going to charge it to say, fuck off, get out of my space. We all have a personal space bubble. Dogs have the same thing. If your dog's familiar with another dog, obviously, then they're familiar, they're fine, just like we are with friends. So if you've got friends and you're a, you're a huggy person, you've no issues with hugging somebody. But if a stranger starts hugging you, straight away you're going to get your back up, are you not? Or am I wrong?